It's transmitted through two means primarily. The first is through droplet transmission and the second is through direct contact uh, uh, with a surface or a person's body who has the infection and then one's hands become contaminated and then one touches the mucous membranes of one's throat um, or eyes or mouth and then one, one uh, proceeds to get infection. The droplets that contain this virus, they need to be big and big droplets that we produce when we cough or sneeze fall to the ground within a radius of one meter of a person and within a few seconds, if not one second. That is good news because that means that if I am outside the radius of one meter approximately of a coughing spluttering person, the kind of droplets that are going to remain behind are very tiny and they are not going to pose a risk to me. So in other words, if I have coronavirus or if someone else has coronavirus, if I stay a meter outside of them and I, I avoid uh, crowds, I can keep myself safe. Unlike the common coronavirus and influenza, this virus can persist on surfaces for a long time, up to seven days. And uh, obviously uh, the viral survival depends on things like the pH and the temperature. And so when the virus falls on these surfaces in these droplets, it's not going to uh, grow of its own accord. It needs to live in a human cell. But there may still be some viral particles left by the end of the seven day period. If a person touches the surface, gets the virus on your hand and touches your face, that's when infection is going to happen. Now you can imagine from what I've explained, if you are in the radius or outside of the radius of one meter from a person, you're not at risk, but people are leaving behind their virus on surfaces all over. And so actually, Direct contact is one of the main routes of transmission of this virus. And that explains the reason why we are encouraging hand washing and surface disinfection as a way of controlling the spread of this virus. So there are two ways. The first is keeping yourself safe, social distance, avoid crowds. If you're introverted, this is your time. <laughs> and secondly, um, by hand washing keeping your hands clean, covering your cough uh, with not your hand, but um, either a, a mask or um, tissues. And then if you have the disease yourself, you need to self-isolate, wear a mask all the time to stop the production of these small droplets, and of course, always wash your hands. So the good news is that uh, this virus is very susceptible to ordinary household cleaning agents. Um, and because it does not attach to the surface like it would attach to our throat, it washes off easily. So simple cleaning with soap and water is more than adequate. Um, hand washing is a science in itself. Um, the World Health Organization has this thing called the five moments of hand washing where one needs to um, wash every single part of one's hands, including under one's nails, up one's arms. And so we should practice uh, hand washing in a way that is consistently safe. We should not test the water after we, uh, by, by momentarily passing our hands under the water, we need to do a thorough job.